we're back with some of the best UFO sightings on the channel. Starting with this one in Canada. I remember this actually shut down the airport in Montreal. I was freaked out. This was like 2021. And it's wild because I've seen other UFOs like this. And I thought they were fake. And now looking back at this Montreal one, it makes me wonder. Here we have another sighting. This was in California. Now, the lady recording claims that the four objects far off in the distance, they were not planes or helicopters. She didn't know what they were. The object that is in the sky, like in the center, moving across, moving to the left, she said that is in fact a plane. That she sees planes uh, when she's outside in her yard all the time. She says it's normal to see the planes. She's seen choppers and everything. She said the four lights in the distance did not look like airplanes or helicopters or anything she's ever seen before. Now, the thing that freaked her out is that the two lights on the right seemed to merge, right? Now, I don't know that I would say they merged, but she says when she saw it, it looked like they merged and split apart. And I agree, you can definitely tell that the light that's moving to the left is an airplane. You can even see its blinking lights. So it, I definitely agree, you can easily tell that's an airplane. And that the ones in the background do look different. Now look as these two go by, it actually does kind of look like they merge together. At, when I first saw it, I felt like it looked like they passed by each other. But that was a little bit more focus on them. And it did almost look like they merged. And she uh, she's not having it. <laughs> she's freaked out. Um, I was skeptical at first. I thought they may have just been planes. But she said that she sees the planes all like She's out there every night. She sees the planes all the time. She feels like she would know if they were planes because she sees the planes so often. And I do agree that compared to like this moving quickly to the right, uh, coming into view again now, that is a plane. They do definitely behave different than these planes that we're seeing. But it could be our perspective and the angle with which we're looking at them. This, uh, I thought it looked really cool. I may have posted this one a while ago. I wanted to come back to it because now looking at it, I do feel like it is skydivers. Uh, with pyrotechnics not necessarily a ufo one does seem to curve upward a little bit but again i think that is our perspective that's just from the angle that this is being recorded uh, but now seeing so many of these that definitely does look like pyrotechnics this i still can't explain y'all know volcano ufos are my favorite this blue light kind of just hovers over the volcano uh, it, the person recording it didn't necessarily say UFO. They said it was more like a, a spirit. They saw it as a spirit. Um, I see it as a UFO. Um, I don't see any any clouds or thunderstorms. So, I mean, I see like the smoke and stuff, but I'm not going to say ball lightning. And it looks like it's splitting apart or like it's two different lights. I don't know what the heck is going on. Or three now. It's so cool. I love this UFO. I, you guys know I love Volcano UFO, but specifically I love this one. It just looks freaking awesome. And this could be something that could be extraterrestrial, right? UFO. Look, there's another. Look how that part, that one just kind of appeared and disappeared. But this could definitely be something interdimensional, in my opinion. It just looks so cool. And like... I I can't even explain it. Like, how how is it splitting apart like that? And what the heck is it doing? Now look how there's, like, points appearing above it. Y'all. And it's not someone goofing around. Like, that. it's like, is someone... It's not... No one's goofing around around lava. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the crazier part. That, and I, I like how that person showed, like, bro, we're at a volcano. What the heck is going on? Like, this is a volcano. This is... So why in 2021 we were still we were still dealing with lockdowns. We've talked about this a little bit before, but it's like were we locked down for reasons other than COVID? Hmm. This is incredible. You can kind of see like the energy swirling around the lights. We've talked about this one before. It looks like it could be a ship. They were um it was behind the trees. It was ground level. The person recording said they could 
feel this energy, see it, and they could like not hear it, but the 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 feel of it. They could hear the feel of it. If that makes it, just it. I I can't. It's incredible because they they can't describe it, and then it makes me want to like I I want to walk in their shoes, and I can't. I, oh god, these freaking UFOs are getting better and better. I feel like this is just we're getting. I hope we get disclosure soon. This this sucker seems to be dropping stuff off in New York City. Uh, I love this UFO because we definitely see clearly uh, this is not a plane and it is dropping. Uh, it was dropping other lights off, uh, but also uh, because I love New York City and. I've personally seen a UFO in New York City. Nothing major or crazy. Like, it was a light. I thought it was a star. Then it started moving. Um, but, yeah, New York City is awesome. This Westchester UFO, I feel like, is similar to the UFO that was just seen through the window. Um, because it was, like, the red flashing lights. And it was far in the window. And it was in the direction of Westchester. And now, in Westchester, we're seeing these lights. At first, I thought it was, like, um, a railroad or something. But... There is no railroad that goes up there, and it is the exact direction of where that window was looking, which is wild. Here we have another uh, UFO dropping its kids off, apparently. Um, this one is in Lake Michigan. I remember this. The family was a little disturbed by what they were seeing uh, over the water. It was like, they were like really, really confused. They were just chilling on a little vacay, and all of a sudden this starts happening. And before they started recording, apparently the little orbs came out of the brighter light. And it looks like that other one's about to go back into it. And this one's just appearing out of nowhere. This is a great one. Oh, I'm glad we came back to this one. This is fantastic. Oh, look, did you see that was like a connection there? It kind of looks like it was still a little bit connected. Maybe like plasma or something. What the heck are these things? And uh, we were talking about using specific words and how the whistleblowers have been using specific words. Um, and Grush, uh, you know, how he uses interdimensional uh, and he uses the word, the term biologics, not necessarily bodies, which I think is very, very interesting. Uh, what if this is a form of biologic like what oh what could this be it looks oh wait, what's that one? sorry that one that just came in up top that was blinking that's got to be something else right i mean they don't look like drones to me this one's a tough one guys let me know in the comments what you think about this one this one's a tough one for me i do feel like when the leftmost light hit the building it had some a weird type of glare or effect on the building, but it could be because the light is so bright. But then they moved it's away from it so quickly. It's not an airplane. See how it kind of oh no, it does look like it's going behind the building. It could just be the it's brightness. Never mind. And yeah, and the building is obviously not smooth. It's going to be jagged. That okay. Sorry, I was like debunk, like well trying to debunk as we were watching. This one is very strange to me because we actually see the erratic movements. It is literally going, it was going back and forth at first, that main light. Um, and then as it starts going forward, look at these movements and look at all of, did you see all of the other lights that showed up? That must have been a giant craft. That is crazy. Look, I call this the top, the spinning top UFO. <laughs> um, I, they are, these are absolutely incredible to me i love that some of these we can actually zoom in and get these shapes this one i love that you, when you zoom in you actually see ridges along the top so i don't feel that it is a flare or uh, something happening with the lens i do feel that that is actually what this object looks like because we're seeing detail that i feel we don't normally see like look you saw the ridges on the top I do feel that, that that is very unique what? in that sighting, and I really enjoy it. What is going on? <laughs> what the heck? Going back now, I mean, again, this was 
this was most, I believe, 2020, 2021. Going back now, I do feel like that could have been Starlink or something similar. We weren't quite, uh, we weren't quite used to the idea of Starlink going up at all times. So I do feel like that could be what happened in a previous video there. This one in Kenya, while it looks like a bag sometimes, it is very high up. And it also looks like the one that we've previewed before that was like a dark speck within a clear, like a spherish thing, which some have said could be what the cube within a sphere looks like. Um, that's what this reminds me of. I feel like it's definitely... Um, I mean, that could be... No, it's really high up. I was going to say a balloon, but it kind of has some weird... In my opinion, it could just be the camera because it's so far. It looks like it's kind of changing shapes in a few places. So, I don't know. One second. Let me... What I wish is that this one could have zoomed in more the way that the previous one did, where we could actually see the ridges and we could get more detail and extract more information from this video. This is one of the uh, older, supposedly leaked military videos. This is one of the videos that hasn't been confirmed, but it was leaked around the same time as the Gimbal video, if not prior. Um, and the Gimbal one was confirmed, so it leads me to believe that they are definitely trying to track a UAP. Um, and this is legit video. Look at this thing. I feel like they're hiding behind the clouds too. And it's wild because our even our military technology uh, has a difficult time tracking it down and locking onto it. And that's what I find the most interesting. It's how advanced these objects and this technology must be. I mean, as David Grush said, the technology is such that they can't tell whether it is interdimensional or whether that is just how the technology works. And it is so advanced that it seems like it's interdimensional to us, but that's just how its technology is. And it is, in fact, extraterrestrial. So they could be either or it could be both. Personally, I do believe that. It is a little bit of both. I do believe there's a bunch of stuff going on that we don't know about. Um, and extraterrestrial and interdimensional are just part of what is going on. We've been seeing a lot of phenomenon over water. This reminds me, I believe it comes up, um, of the of the one that the person was on the boat. Like, this person's on the beach recording, but there was a group of people on the boat and there were a whole bunch of lights. And they all started recording and freaking out. They're like, are you seeing this? There are UFOs. Uh, and I mean, it was a lot of lights. It was really freaky. Um, and uh, again, over water. And we've been talking about how some UFOs are also USOs. The military has also talked about this and admitted this. Meaning they submerge themselves in water. But what's strange is they don't lose velocity or change speed it's almost as if the water doesn't affect them they they don't even really necessarily make a splash like in the one video they say there's a splash but it doesn't actually splash the water it just touches in and it it, it phases into the water um that leads me again into the more interdimensional field but i think it's very interesting that we've been seeing a lot of ufo over water because it makes me think about some of the people that say, are there underwater bases? Could they be from here? Uh, and again, I don't know that they're all from here. I feel like some may be, but I do feel that there are definitely underwater bases. If they can go into the water like nothing, why, why wouldn't they? We wouldn't be able to reach them. That'd be super convenient for them. That would be extremely easy. Uh, this one was wild i believe it gets really close to them and they're freaking out this was on tiktok a while ago um i felt like it was a drone at first until it zapped 
up and disappear. I have no idea. Uh, and I remember this one from Arizona. It people were, were calling it a UFO. They said that they saw um, like seven to ten lights in the sky. At first, when I saw this, I'm like, I see three lights. But when they zoom in, you can actually see that there are multiple. It's more than three lights. It is like five, maybe six. Maybe we can't see the full extent of it because we're watching it through a camera and not seeing it in person. So I definitely believe the witnesses in that it could have been like 10 lights. But it looks to me the way they are is like, that looks like a light being. Or what is this? I, I guess I wouldn't really know, right? So what's described as a light being? Um, the way that the pillars of light were over each orb. Uh, it's It was just, it, it, I'll say it was absolutely stunning. Probably a beautiful sight to see, a little bit scary, but definitely beautiful. Here we have a cylindrical shaped UFO, um, very much, actually no, I, w I don't want to say it's like a, the Tic Tac because I feel like the Tic Tacs are stumpier. I feel like that's very, very elongated. It's more of like a cigar shaped UFO. Uh, we've talked about this before. I feel like those may actually be probes as opposed to man ships. I feel like the cigar shape may actually be probes. They cut through the air easier. They probably can get around faster, um, do a few things and maneuver without, let's quote, uh, biologics inside of them. So I feel like some of them are maneuvered by biologics. Some of them are biological, but I do feel that the cigar shapes may be probes. This one's strange because it doesn't really have... Oh, wait, no, we have a blink there. I feel like this is definitely a UFO, not a plane, but I do feel it's man-made. Um, I don't know if it's sensed that it was being captured or what, but I feel like it's interesting that the blink came later and the other light kind of turns on and off on its own. It is also a very strange shape for a plane. So I do feel that it is a... a, a, a anomalous object but i do think it's one of our own maybe when we've tried reverse engineering or one we're messing with because and that just looks strange to me i don't know even the blinking lights uh, we've talked about how ufos don't really have the need for blinking lights i do i know some of you argue that they don't have the need for lights at all i argue against that all the time but i don't i do agree that they don't have the need for blinking lights I do think that they need lights because, I mean, space is a void, so there are times where you would need light even though your light won't shine too far, it'll get you something. Um, but also I feel like light in many ways is something that is emitted due to their energy source. Um, we emit light and heat in our energy sources, so I don't see why, I mean, I, I don't think that the physics of that would change. Granted, we don't know what they are, so oh we'll have God. to wait and see, hopefully, for um, disclosure. <laughs> uh, this is sent in anonymous. I didn't get too much information. Uh, I, Even though it's moving kind of like how the skydivers were, I don't think it's that. I do think it's anomalous just because of the way they turned on and off. They could be drones, but even drones have the blinking lights. And this, the way they kind of just, when they vanish, <laughs> that was, that? that's very anomalous to me. So, yeah, at first I wasn't sure, but by the time that they disappeared, I, uh, what you saw, that was a UFO, buddy. <laughs> this one was in Saitama, Japan. I actually don't remember that one. Um... Like cool stuff. It reminds me. Well, it doesn't remind me, but I, it it makes me think of the other one from Japan where the light was above the house, and I remember someone saying it was the moon because I think they saw a picture I had posted. I'm like, bro, no, it was not the moon. It was that bright, but it was moving. Like, watch the video. It was intense. Um, some of these were sent in anonymously. Like the emails were clearly fake. They had like weird. I feel like, I, in my opinion, foreign uh, email accounts, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. I appreciate the information, and I appreciate you for sending it in. Uh, this from Pakistan is really cool. I'm iffy on it because it's not the best camera, and the bright red that it is and the way that it kind of goes, I feel like it could be a flare. 
Um, but they are on the highway, and he seems to be very freaked out by it. But no one seems to be stopping. <laughs> but guys, let me know what you guys think. Smash that like and subscribe. I will see all of you next time.